Whenever I talk with food lovers and discuss which neighborhoods in Hong Kong have the most variety and best prices for delicious snacks, Yunlong District in the Western New Territories always comes up. So today, I've decided to walk through this neighborhood and explore some of the food that Yunlong has to offer. Welcome to Food Wander. After a quick chat with some of the locals in the neighborhood for recommendations, I follow their directions to a popular local cafe on an unsuspecting side street. Wing Shun Restaurant, at a glance, really isn't very different from most other Hong Kong cha chan peng. A place where people of all walks of life come to enjoy some of the most local of treats. But this place seems to have perfected a contemporary classic, the satay beef noodles, which can be ordered with a side of fried pork chop. So this is their famous satay beef noodle. So much flavor. Sweet, savory, the satay comes through. It's tender, it's soft, it takes up the flavor. And that sort of silky smooth texture and the slight graininess of the, of the soup, the heaviness of the soup, goes so well with that beef. That's excellent. I'm gonna try the pork chop. I'm gonna poke my fork in, just watch. Some of the oil coming right off of that. Mmm. Oh. Just look at that. Just look at that right there. Slightly savory. The batter is nice and light. It's not too heavy. Definitely on the oily side, but it's fried, so that's normal. But it's not too salty. And I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of people eating their pork chop with their noodles. Yeah, I'm gonna take a page from rather what everyone else is book. Yep. I know why this place is busy, and I know why this place is well known among the locals in this area. It's easy, it's inexpensive, it's a really good comforting treat as well. Next, I walk a couple blocks to a place that has embraced a North American classic and made it the focus of their food offerings, hot dogs. Hot Dog Brothers has been around since 2016, offering a wide variety of combinations that they've created, adding their own tasty twists to an American classic. Hey, Toby. Yo, what's up, man? Hello. Found it. <laughs> Let's get some dogs rolling. All right, so we've got the classic American and the Chicago dog. I'm gonna try the classic first. Let's see. Oh, oh man. Here we go. Let's see. Oh man, that is excellent. It's my favorite word, folks balance. The brioche bread is toasty, but it's really soft. The dog is nice and warm. The ketchup and mustard, it's a classic combination. You've got to have it on a hot dog. But the relish and the olives are really nice. But I'm going to have to ask what that spice is. That's delicious. Hey, Toby, what's the spice on it? A little bit of spiciness. What's that? The jalapeno. That's the jalapeno the jalapeno, and I love it. Oh. Next, we've got the Chicago dog. Aha. Uh -huh. Now see, this one doesn't have any ketchup on it. It's got pickles. This is sweet gherkins. So that's the relish right there, and some onions as well, but also some diced tomatoes. Okay. The gherkins they use, the pickles they use, are slightly sweet, which is why they don't need to add the ketchup. And when you have the diced tomatoes, you get that, uh, the tomato flavor. So you don't need the ketchup. And so that's how they've balanced this particular dog out. Toby. After perhaps overeating slightly, 
I decide to go next door to enjoy some five flower tea at the famous Hei Lao San, where its life as a now well-known chain of dessert restaurants began here, at the very first shop that opened in the 1970s. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Food Wander. Take care, guys. We'll catch you next time.